Hi everyone, Mr. Wong from Genius Plus Academy here. Today, I'm here to solve the 2024 O-Level EMath Paper 1 that just concluded today. I'm looking at question 27, which I think was the question that gave most of the students the greatest trouble. Um, I do agree that question 27B is probably the hardest question in this paper. All right, so let's take a look at how we go about solving question 27, which is a question involving vectors and triangles. Now, the question tells us that OAB is a triangle and C is a point on BA such that BC to CA is 2 to 1. So let's go ahead and label 2 and 1. OA is 3A and OB is 6B. Show that the position vector OC is equal to 2A plus 2B. From here, we should be able to see that to find OC, vector OC by triangle law is OA plus AC. Or you could use OB plus BC. Either one is fine. Regardless, you can see that the common thread is the vector AB. So that's what we are going to find first. So vector AB by your triangle law is equal to OB minus OA. So that gives you 6B minus 3A. OC, I'm just going to use vector AC, is therefore equal to OA plus AC. And because AC is one unit while the entire AB is one plus two equals to three units, we know that vector AC is one third of vector AB. So this is equal to 3A, which is vector OA, plus one third of vector AB. So one third of 6B minus 3A. Expand this, you will get 3A plus 2B minus A. And you will simplify down to 2A plus 2B, which is what the question wants you to show. So 27A, I think, is still relatively straightforward for most students. It is 27B that was the killer. Now, we are told that P is the midpoint of OC. Q is a point on OB such that APQ is a straight line. In other words, A, P, Q are collinear. So that means AQ equals to KAP. In this case, they tell you that AQ is equal to M, AP. They also tell you that OQ is equal to NOB because OQ lies on the point. It's a point that lies on the vector OB. And so they are also collinear. So the question wants you to find the ratio of OQ to QB. So the first thing we need to figure out is what exactly is OQ, right? So Let's look at what is given to us. They tell us that P is the midpoint, which means these two parts are equal. And if you look at the question, we would very likely need to find AP or AQ in some form. And we are given the, the vector OP. So let's go ahead and find the vector OP first. So OP is equal to half of your vector OC because it, OP, P is the midpoint. And so you have half times 2A plus 2B, which we found in part A, and that will give you A plus B. So now let's take a look at the vector AQ. So we know that AQ can be OQ minus OA, agree? But we also know that AQ, as given in the question, is equal to MAP. So let's express AQ in those two ways. So AQ is equal to MAP Now, what is AP? By your triangular triangle law, AP is equal to OP minus OA, right? And what is AQ? Again, triangle law, OQ minus OA. We 
we are directly given what OQ represents. OQ represents N O B. So N O B minus 3A, which is OA, is equal to M. Now that we have found OP previously, A plus B minus 3A. So this will simplify down to 2MA plus MB. On the left-hand side, we know that OB is 6B. So this will give you 6NB minus 3A. So if we look at the vector A component, sorry, this is negative because 1 minus 3. You will see that negative 3 is equal to negative 2m. And therefore, m is equal to 3 over 2. Now, we compare vector b. We will see that 6n is equal to m. And therefore, 6n is equal to 3 over 2. n is equal to 3 over 2 divided by 6 to give me 1 out of 4. Now that we have resolved the value, we know that n is equal to 1 out of 4. That gives us OQ is equal to 1 out of 4 of OB. And if we look at the diagram carefully, since OQ and OB are collinear, OQB is collinear, this means that OQ over OB is equal to 1 out of 4. OQ over QB is simply equals to 1 over 4 minus OQ, which is minus 1 which gives me 1 out of 3, and therefore the ratio here is 1 is to 3 for OQ to QB. So what the question requires you to do basically is to express the same vector in different forms comparing M and N. Remember that in vector, the components are separate. And so you can compare the coefficient of A, you can compare the coefficient of B separately. All right, so that's all the question requires you to do for four marks. All right, it can be a little bit complicated to understand if you are not intuitively tuned to the idea that you could break down the vectors into different components such that you can compare their A and their B. Okay. Let's take a look at question C. The triangle OBC is 25 cm square. Find the area of triangle OAC. If you look at the diagram carefully, you should see that OBC and OAC are what we call adjacent triangles where they share a common length. In this case, they share a common height. If I let BC and CA be the basis of the triangle. So since they share a common height and they are adjacent, it will mean that the area of triangle OBC to area of triangle OAC would be the same as the ratio of their bases, which in this case is simply 2 to 1. And therefore, if OBC is 25, then OAC will be 12.5. And that's it for this entire question. Okay.